When a madman begins committing murders apparently inspired by gothic writer Edgar Allan Poe's works, a young Baltimore detective played by Luke Evans joins the author in a bid to track down the killer. The night before last, a young girl and her mother were found murdered. The daughter's body was lodged in a chimney. The mother's head severed with a straight razor. You're referring to one of my stories, a work of fiction. I'm afraid I am not. It's a gothic thriller. It's a fictional account of the last five days of Edgar Allan Poe's life. If you like Edgar Allan Poe, you'll love it because we rep the, the, the murderer replicates the best murders in his books. If you've never heard of Edgar Allan Poe, you'll still love it because it's a fictional story and it's a thriller and it'll get you on the edge of your seat. Probably squirmish at most times. If I do not read a vivid the last few days before Poe's death are still a mystery. He was die. found delirious on the streets of Baltimore he just before he died. And the he film liberally mixes fact and fiction Why in its account of the end of his life. So? John I Cusack plays Poe. Where were all these officers last night? Where were you? He was a real mess at the end. Um, he was a real genius and he was just wired too tight in so many ways, but... Um, I think if you look back at all the genres that he created, like if you look at the CSI on television and Sherlock Holmes and you look at this, all the horror films and some of the thrillers and the mysteries and the supernatural films and even a film like I did, um, 1408, the Stephen King film, you think of like that was based sort of, I think to me, uh, based on Rod Serling and some of this me metaphysical mind traps movies and even those always come back to Poe. The Raven is now playing in cinemas in the UK.